Grand Bassam in Ivory Coast. Wedged between sea and lagoon, this picturesque facade hides a dark underbelly. Behind these historic houses lies a hotbed for underage prostitution. Young girls from underprivileged communities often see no alternative to survive. Awa Nakoma was only 14 when she entered the sex work business. Rejected by her stepfather, she was forced to make money on the streets. Awa earns about 5 euros from selling her body to strangers. Sometimes she has to take up to 10 clients just to afford her basic needs. Often there are people who are violent. They will hit you and insult you. There are even those who don't give you your money. They take your money and leave. And when you get sick, the money you've saved is the money you take to take care of yourself. Today, at the age of 19, she's no longer living on the street. Thanks to the success of her small business and the support of the local NGO Abel community. Awa isn't the only prostitute to find her way out. Her friend Odile Loco also opened her own store. She still does sex work on the side, but now she chooses her clients. With this store, I'm more comfortable. I take care of my business, I'm independent. Nobody comes to bother me. I decide what I want. I decide whether to attend to customers or not. But many girls in Grand Bassam still have no choice but to fend for themselves. Pimping and soliciting are illegal under Ivorian law, but not prostitution. Odile thinks the authorities have double standards. The police? They're corrupt themselves. There are policemen who themselves sleep with the prostitutes. Once helped by the NGO Abel community herself, Awa now wants to help other girls leave the sex work industry behind by sharing her own story and encouraging them. Behind their laughter and inside jokes, these girls hide a traumatic past that drove them into prostitution as minors. I have clients, but it's not easy. I'm in this business and you could say I'm doing quite well. I can afford to buy clothes, bags, my phone. But often when I think about it, it's not easy. My parents have passed away and I don't have the life I deserved. Despite the risk of disease and violence, many of these young girls struggle to leave the sex business behind because it's quick money. But Awa is determined to change as many lives as possible. There are many opportunities that you can follow without selling your body. This is what encourages me to help them personally. I want to bring out the best in them. And Awa wants to set an example. She recently started a pastry course so she can soon stand on her own feet. I don't want to go back to what I was doing before. That's what helps me to hold on. It helps me to be independent to achieve my goal. Our dreams of one day opening her own pastry shop. She wants to prove that it's possible to leave a life on the streets behind and thrive. <laughs>